Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com. Let's take a brief look together at this LED trailer clearance or side marker light with Reflex Reflector. Now this small oval trailer light is going to serve as either a side marker light or a clearance light. As you probably know, LEDs make great replacements for incandescent lights. They last longer, they burn brighter, they're more efficient. With LEDs, you don't have to worry about replacing bulbs and you don't have to worry about brittle filaments. As you can see, this light does have two LEDs, two diodes there. And this light features a red lens with a built-in reflex reflector, as you can see there. This is going to mount directly onto the surface of the trailer. Mounting hardware is not included with this, but it does have these two uh, mounting holes on the back, and you can gain access to those holes by removing the lens. The lens just pops off and then pops back on, so easy, uh, very easy to install this. This can be mounted horizontally or vertically, whatever's going to be best for you. We do have this two-wire installation. The white wire is going to be ground. The red wire is going to be power. This does require a three-quarter of an inch diameter hole on the installation surface for the wiring base to fit into. And this is SAE approved, and it is a P2 rated light. Now let me go ahead and turn my lights off here briefly just to give you a demonstration of what this is going to look like in low light or dark conditions. So there with my close-up view you can see what this looks like with the lights off. You can see that reflex reflector in action there. Let me go for a wider view just so you can see what this is going to look like from a distance. Then I'm going to go ahead and turn my studio lights back on. And you can still see just how bright this is with my bright studio lights on. Now let me go ahead and disconnect this from my power source and give you some overall measurements just so you can be confident that this is going to work for you. It's going to be easier for me to measure this uh, on the back side. So lining this up here, looking at the overall length, looks like we're sitting pretty close to four inches. If you want to get real technical about it, slightly under four inches, but overall right at about four inches. Looking at the, uh, if you want to call it the height or the width, see if I can line that up there for you. Looks like we're sitting right at about one and five eighth, one and five eighth inches wide. And then the depth, it's going to be about half an inch, it looks like. And then the mounting holes, let me see if I can line this up here for you. On center, kind of tricky. Hopefully you can see that. Looks like two and a half inches on center on those mounting holes. Well, I think that's going to wrap up our brief look today. I do hope that it was illuminating for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.